What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for checking in. On today's video, we are going to be talking about coding your BMW with Beamer code. So if you guys have not heard of Beamer code, I'm going to tell you exactly what that is. What is Beamer code? Beamer code is coding made simple. Beamer code allows you to customize your car as well as unlock hidden features. If you're familiar with BMWs, you may have heard of other different coding devices such as Beamer Link, Carly, NCS Expert, just to name a few. Beamer Code is one of those coding devices as well. So why did I choose Beamer Code over some of these other options? Beamer Code has a downloadable app that you can put on your Android or iOS device. The app is free to download and it's extremely intuitive and super user friendly. I've also heard that Beamer Code has an excellent customer service and support team. So if you ever have any questions or issues with your device, they are there to support you. Even though the Beamer Code app is free to download on your mobile device, there is a one-time charge. I believe it's $31.99. It's a one-time subscription fee, but it does give you access to all of the BMW and mini cars that are out on the road today. I know that Carly has a monthly subscription, so Beamer Code does have a leg up in terms of that. It is only the one-time fee. So how do you connect Beamer Code to your car? That's a good question. You need to purchase an OBD2 scan tool. I highly recommend this one from VPeak. I purchased this on Amazon. I believe it was 20 to $25. Other than the charge for the VPeak and the $32 subscription fee, there are no other fees involved. Inside your VPeak box, you've got a couple different things in here. You've got a welcome guide with some instructions as well as the OBD2 port scan tool. And it actually comes with a nice little leather case. Inside of here, it's got some foam holding this scan tool in place, and that's about all it is. So now that we've got our VPeak scan tool and we've downloaded the Beamer Code app on our mobile device, we're ready to go. So let's go outside, get in the car, and do some coding. When coding your vehicle, you can do this one of two ways. You can either put the car on accessory and hook your car up to a battery tender, or you can turn the car on completely and do your coding then. I have chosen to hook the car up to a battery tender and do it on accessory. So I've got the car on accessory. I'm gonna turn off my radio and turn everything off that I don't need just to kind of conserve the battery a little bit. Other than that, the next thing you need to do is take out your scan tool of choice and locate the OBD2 port. So on the driver's side footwell, if you come down here, you actually see the port which is right here. It only goes in one way, so let's go ahead and plug that in now. Make sure it's in all the way. Once it's in, you'll see that it's got a little light that's on. That means that we're connecting to the car. Next up, you'll want to open your Beamer Code app that you've downloaded. Hit connect. Choose VPeak. Hit continue. And then from here, you need to select your vehicle. So we are going to scroll down here to BMW 3 Series F30. Hit connect. Now this might take a moment. It's going to actually connect and identify all the ECUs in our car. Okay, now that we've connected, these are all of the available ECUs that we can do different coding with. So as you can see, there's quite a few different things here. The great thing about Beamer Code is whenever you do any changing, it will actually create a backup of your previous settings. So if you happen to make a, some sort of change that you don't like, you can actually revert back. If you don't remember which code you flipped, you can actually revert back to a specific date and time and re-upload. So we're going to go ahead and go into this first ECU on the top, um, Advanced Crash Safety Module. It might take a second to read the coding data. But once you get in there, we'll look at our options. So that took about a minute to get into this actual ECU. So now that we're in it, you can actually see the different options that we've got here. So we can actually change uh, seatbelt reminders for the driver's seat, passenger seat, um, all of these things. There's a couple here that are currently active, a couple that are not active. Um, so you can have indicators, you can have a reminder, duration, reminder distance, reminder speed, um, just to name some of those. I'm going to go ahead into this seatbelt reminder driver seat. I'm actually going to turn this one off. Um, not that I don't like having a reminder that I'm not wearing my seatbelt. I do wear my seatbelt all the time, but sometimes I do frequently move the cars around in between the garages and I don't want to have, have the car yell at me um, every 
time I do that. So what I did was I went in here, I'm gonna hit not active, and I'm gonna go back. I can either hit code now, or I can do a couple other codes within this ECU and then hit code and code it all at once. I am concerned with the safety of my passengers, so I am going to go into the safety belt indicator passenger seat. I think this will actually throw an indicator on the instrument cluster uh, that the passenger does not have their seatbelt fastened, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. Uh, so the driver's side and the passenger side are both now on. I did leave the passenger seat belt uh, reminder um, for the passenger on. And uh, the rear seats, I'm not going to really worry about. I don't ever have anybody in the rear seats of the car. And I think that's about all on this one. So now that I've got everything done in this particular ECU, I'm going to go ahead and hit code in the upper right hand corner. Um, there's some important note here. Just go ahead and hit start coding. So as you can see, the coding was successful. It only took about a minute for those two codes to apply and uh, it did, the car did beep at me. So if you happen to get any weird messages that pop up on your instrument cluster or on your iDriver, anything like that, weird noises along the way, do not worry about that. Um, the car will do that because it's uh, updating the new ECU. So you hit OK, and we're good to go on that one. So now we can go back and go into another ECU. So the next ECU that I'm in is the front electronic module. I'm going to change the angel eyes here for the brightness with low beams on, as well as brightness for parking lights. I'm going to crank this up to 10% on both. If you scroll down here a little bit more, I don't want to do that one. Auto start functions. This one here, auto start function, auto start stop function in eco mode. I do not like that. I hate that the car turns off um, when in eco mode. So I'm going to hit not active. Um, anything else here? Convenient opening and closing with remote. So. This one here, convenient opening delay. This would be a delay for opening the windows. So using my key fob, if you hold down the unlock button for a certain amount of time, it will actually open all of your windows. Uh, currently it's 2.5 seconds. I'm gonna turn that down to 1.5 seconds. Convenient closing is active. So same thing, um, during this time you can actually Fold all your mirrors and um, close all of your your windows and stuff. So from factory, BMW allows you to use the key fob to open the windows by holding down the unlock button. Um, I am going to activate this one here, convenient closing with a remote control. It's currently off, so I'm going to turn that on. That way, when I hold the lock button, it will close all of my windows. I'm also going to change the convenient closing delay on the sunroof from three and a half seconds down to one and a half seconds. Here's another one here that I do not like. Window lifter interruption when opening the door. So that means when you open the door while trying to roll up the window, the window will actually stop. I actually want to turn that off. I want it to continue rolling up even when my door is open. This one here is a nice safety feature. Um, time until automatic lock. So if you happen to forget to lock your car when you walk away and turn it off, um, I'm gonna change that to one minute. Here's another feature here that I'm gonna do, the fold, unfold mirrors automatically. So on this one, the mirrors, your side mirrors will actually fold in automatically when the car is locked with the remote control or with the comfort access. So I'm gonna hit active. Uh, the wipe cycles after front washing is currently three. I'm going to do it four. So as you can see, there's quite a few options here on this particular module, or on this particular ECU. So uh, now that I got everything that I want, I'm going to go ahead and hit code up here and hit start coding. And I'm going to let this run. So as you guys can see, there are a ton of different features and options to choose from here. So I'm going to go through all of these ECUs and kind of pick and choose which ones I want and do not want. Um, so the process is pretty much the same. Just know that if you do click on one of these, it will give you a description of what the actual code is doing. So 
Um, if you aren't sure about what one of them is, just click on it and it'll tell you exactly what the code is changing. I hope this video was informative for you guys. I'm actually probably going to also do another follow-up video and I'm gonna do some coding on my E92 M3 as well. So again, that's what's really great about Beamer Code is I can do this on multiple vehicles. It's just the one-time subscription and that's about it. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Please like, comment if you have got any questions and we'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.